Today I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to take a potency measurement using the Luminary Profiler from Sage Analytics. My name is Lauren Wilson, Director of Marketing for Sage Analytics, a technology company providing simplified solutions for instant, accurate, and real-time measurement of potency in cannabis products. More importantly, these solutions have been designed to be operated by non-technical personnel such as myself so that anyone can take an accurate measurement of the potency of a marijuana sample. The Luminary Profiler instantly, accurately, and in real time measures the potency of THC, CBD, and CBN in cannabis products. It does this using spectroscopy, which is the science of light. It shines and analyzes near-infrared light to report on the information about the molecules in each sample. Okay, enough science talk. Let's get started. For this demonstration, we'll be going through how to set up the system, how to clean the measurement window, how to do a calibration, and how to measure samples. The Luminary Profiler comes with the following items. iPad mini and stand, extract ring, black cap, white reference puck, and quick start guide. First, you want to make sure that your luminary is on a flat and stable work surface. Keep it away from any bright lights or strong airflow, such as fans or vents. Plug in the luminary and turn it on. If you look at an angle into the middle of the measurement window, the fiber optic light should be on. When you first turn on the system, the luminary requires 20 minutes for the lamp to warm up and reach a stable operating temperature. Next, turn on your iPad and open the Mercury web browser. A countdown screen will appear and alert you when the warm-up period is completed. Next, we need to clean the measurement window. The luminary sees the sample through the measurement window, so it is critical to keep the window clean by using rubbing alcohol wipes and waiting a few seconds until the surface is dry again. The cleaner the window, the more of the sample is detected and reliably measured. It is important to clean the window after every measurement so leftover residue from a previous measurement isn't detected. After cleaning the window, the system must be calibrated using two references, which also take just a few seconds each. This once-a-day calibration is required to normalize the system. It must be known how the luminary responds to the maximum amount of light coming into the window, which is called the white calibration, and no light coming in, called the black calibration. Take the cap and place the black end of the cap over the measurement window. Ensure it sits evenly around the collar of the window and that it's not tilted. Press next to allow the system to perform the calibration, then remove the cap. Take the white reference puck and place the white side of the puck down over the measurement window. Be sure the window is completely covered. Press next to do the calibration, then remove the puck. The white reference area is encapsulated in glass. Be careful not to touch the white area, get it dirty, or scratch the glass. It needs to be completely clean for producing a maximum signal for measurement. Use rubbing alcohol to clean it when necessary. Now we're ready to start measuring samples. The luminary measures the potency percentages of THC, CBD, and CBN so you know exactly what you're smoking or ingesting. On the iPad, choose your sample type, dry sample or concentrate. We're going to test a dry sample first. We recommend grinding the dry sample to homogenize the plant matter to determine a more even reading of the different sections of the plant sample you are measuring. Place the sample in the center of the measurement window. The more you fill the window, the better. Press Next. Cover the sample with the black open end of the cap, which is used to block out ambient light. Press Next to calculate the potency, and then press Done. So here are our results. It's that simple to use. Next, let's measure a concentrate. A concentrate can be either hash oil or extract. Take the extract ring and press it down onto the collar of the measurement window so that it fits snugly and will hold the liquid extract in place. Take the cap and place the silver end over the empty ring. An empty ring must be measured in order to get a baseline. Press Next. Remove the cap and fill the hole with extract using a mini spatula. Make sure the sample covers the entire measurement window. Place the silver end of the cap over the sample and ring. Press Next to calculate the potency, then press Done. Make sure to clean all parts immediately. Extract is gooey and will stick to everything. Some final reminders and tips when using the Luminary Profiler. The Luminary Profiler should be stored in an area free of bright lights and strong airflow and placed on a flat and stable work surface. 
The daily calibration of the instrument will aid in ensuring maximum accuracy and will normalize the system. The calibration should be performed when the instrument is turned on and at least every 24 hours of continual use. It is acceptable to leave the luminary profiler on when not in use. However, the luminary profiler is equipped with a lamp that has a finite lifetime of approximately 2,000 hours. Therefore, when left on and not in use, the lamp's operational lifetime will be decreased. Replacement lamps are available from Sage Analytics. We hope this gives you a better understanding of how the luminary profiler tests for potency in cannabis products. If you're interested in learning more about the Luminary Profiler, please visit sageanalytics.com.